in continuation to our previous video in this video we will see how to override a function so let's see how to do that for example you have this function name one function in your contract one and maybe you are in need where you need to keep the same function name in your contract two as well for example if i'll try to change it here i'll try to keep it one function here so it will start giving me the error because you cannot have the same function name since we are inheriting the contract here so which basically means you have already copied this function in this contract and you cannot have the same function definition uh, in in the same contract so how can we uh, keep the same function name both in the base contract and the contract you are inheriting in so you can use the uh, keyword virtual and once you will do virtual then the contract uh, where you want to override this you can add the keyword override here and now your function name is same in both the contracts so this basically means that you want this contract to be overridden wherever you are uh, inheriting this contract so now if i'll try to deploy this contract let's say like the contract to deploy it now if i'll try to call this function it should return us this value instead of this because we have already overridden this function here so let's do that and as you can see it is calling the function from the contract too so this is how you can override the function so for example what if you want to override this function as well so how can we do that so same to override any function so you need to add the virtual keyword but this is not enough so let's say we have one more contract contract 3 which is inheriting the contract 2 like this and here i can do function let's say again one function and i can do public override your returns let's say string memory and here i can return the value p function so this is how you can override it further so let's delete this and redeploy the contract 3 make sure you are redeploying the contract 3 so now contract 3 will copy everything from the contract 1 and contract 2 in this contract and finally we are deploying only one copy on the blockchain so let's deploy contract 3 and now if i'll try to call this function it should return this value three function and you see it is returning as the three function so this is how you can override the function in solidity now the question is if i want to access this function inside the contract 2 how i can access because i have already overrided this function so i won't be able to access but there is a workaround for example i want to declare a new function let's say function access contract one contract one get it to public your returns same string memory string in lowercase and here i can do return to access this function so i can use the super keyword use super dot one function like this and that's it we are done now let's deploy the contract too because we have implemented this function in two only and we are not inheriting the two and three so that's the reason we will be deploying the contract two only deploy two and now we have this function available so with this it will give us the function 2 so we have overrided this function here but we still have access to this function by using the super keyword so you can see it here here it is showing the result one function so that's how you can use the super keyword